Now it's time to move. We're going to hone in on an actual product, but, but what I want to do in this video is walk you through the process. Here's what we're going to deal with. I'm going to show you a niche selection chart. This is going to kind of help you factor things in and qualify or disqualify specific niches. Then we'll look at selecting the actual product. I'll show you some resources and then I've got some action steps again for you in this video. Okay, so here is the chart first. And uh, what you can do, I would suggest probably creating this inside of Excel uh, just to give you a nice convenient way. As a matter of fact, I'll probably go ahead and do that uh, in this video. I'll create one inside of Excel. These are the things that we want to factor in. You're going to basically score each niche idea that you had. So in the last exercise, we wrote down five to ten different niches. And we're going to run each of these through these, uh, these different factors here and score them accordingly. Uh, for example, word tracker traffic. Here, you can actually enter the result that you got on the word tracker uh, when you did the research with that. And I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a second. Uh, you can enter the result value there. And then for magazine, just put a five if they did have a magazine. And if, you know, if they had multiple magazines, it doesn't matter. As long as there's a magazine for that particular niche, that's good. So after you do your research, if, there's a, if there is a magazine for it, put a 5 there. If there are forums for it, online forums, put a 5 there. If you have personal knowledge about this specific niche, then you're going to put a 10 there. If you don't have knowledge, obviously you just leave it a 0. But if you have personal knowledge in that niche, put a 10. If there's a personal interest, put a 5. Does this particular niche have year-round sales? That's a 10 also. If it doesn't, then you'll leave it at zero. The reason this is so important is because it, it's not bad to create you know, a product for you know, something that's just released at Easter or Christmas or something like that. But I don't recommend that you do it for your main information product. You want something that is going to sell year-round. So if this particular niche that you thought about happens to you know be seasonal for whatever reason like maybe it's skiing or something like that put a 10 there for year-round sales okay and if it's not if it's seasonal put a zero are the buyers impulsive this is actually uh, something that's pretty important too uh, and you you'll find this out by checking out the magazines and the forums you'll find out if those are if it's an impulsive niche because ideally that's what you want Put a 5 there for impulsive. If they're not impulsive, leave it at 0. Does it have high ticket?